how to center and glue the fingerboard in the perfect spot on the scroll. Hi, my name is Sofia. Welcome here again if you are following me for a while and welcome if you are new in this channel. I am Sofia Vittoria, the violin since I was 17 years old. This is Bibi, the chief of happiness of my team. That's me. That's my grandfather that started making violin in 1935. That's my family. That's my father. And this is some of the old, old spruce wood that we have. And today we're going to do that together. So I have a trip, trick that I learned from one of my value makers friend, Marianne. I'm going to show it to you today. And remember just that I usually remove the fingerboard for varnishing. So we just glue it with a couple of glue of super glue, a couple of drops. Oh my God, this morning I can't talk, so <laughs> be patient with me. So what I did, I draw exactly where I want to have the fingerboard. Like that. Then I take a clamp. And I clamp like that. So I like to use the vise here to hold my scroll. That's very, very useful. I hope you can see it well. It's like that. <laughs> All right. So now that the fingerboard is almost where it should be, you need two rulers that are the same size, same measurements. And as you can see, the fingerboard, it's too far this way. So here it touches and here there is a lot of space. So it's not centered in here. Right. So let's see now. Haha. -ha. It's much better. Still can move just a tiny little bit. Yeah, now it's perfectly centered. What I do, I also draw two lines here. And then you see the feeling. Okay, it's going a little bit too much in this direction. So I will check this again. Just a tiny little bit, okay. I mean, these are like in per how do you say just movement that you don't even feel here. Right here. All right, so now these lines are really perfectly equal, the scroll is fitting perfectly. So, what I do, I mark the side of my fingerboard just to have a reference like that. And then I do the trick that I learned. So with some clamp, I use this one because they have a flat part here. I just go all around. So I'm making this video live, so you see, you see exactly what I do. Oh, 
Okay, so now you will see what I'm doing. I'm gonna clamp this one a little bit higher, like that. Okay, so it's a little bit standing up. If I remove that one here, I'm gonna see that. Of course, I have my line up where the upper nut will be. Remove this one and it will go just perfectly in place. You see that? Suck it in and suck it in. So this way, I'm sure I will glue the fingerboard exactly where I just check. So what I'm doing now, I put two drop, three drops, small drop. So let me be sure they are small. So I'm going to use this one just to make one, two, three. And then I press it down. All right. Okay, the perfect spot. I mean, super glue doesn't take too long to glue, so I will just put clamps for a little bit. I will put one of this clamp here, one of this clamp here. All right, now I need to wait. Oh my God, I hope you were seeing something because I moved my camera. Um, so now I just have to wait and then a few minutes just to be sure that the super glue has a tap, but usually it's super fast. And then I remove everything. You can also just double check. You can also check the lines. If they're still on the right spot. Set. Mm. Well, I will need more space. So let's say I will double check. I mean, the super glue has already worked. So I will just double check and it's exactly where I want it to be. Mm -hmm. So here we go. I hope you enjoyed this video with the little tip. And today I'm going to set this neck. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.